Hashtag no music, no intro. Thursday night, Saints Block Party podcast. We have a lot to talk about. We're going to kind of keep it truncated because Ryan doesn't have a charger for his laptop. Why you got a loud cat, bro? Uh, sorry. I, I, I <laughs> am going off of one hour, legitimately one hour of sleep. But mm. so, so much has happened today in terms of saints news and everything that we did we felt like we needed to essentially record and put something out so here we here we are um i i think obviously the hold on just making sure this gets posted to twitter huh, i'm sick sorry i had to i just had to get one out there just had, had to get one out there <laughs> Oh, what a what a state of affairs the world's in, right? Now. Anyway, we don't we not we not go good there. Let's 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 focus on the Saints. Let's talk about the Saints. Uh oh no no Mark these aren't these aren't Beats these are the Sony XM fives. Just had got a um stunting on them. <laughs> listen, bro. Listen, it's right off, it's right off. Big news came out today regarding. Ryan Ramchek. It huh. it was kind of like the the quiet part was it was on it was on sell mark to be fair. Um quiet part was said out loud, multiple reports. Yeah, he's gonna he was put on pup, he's gonna miss the entire upcoming off the upcoming NFL season. Essentially, I think we we I don't think like we know his career as a saint is over and after this season, you know, in terms of weird accounting purposes, he'll you know, retire and what have you. And it's just, I, here's, we can go into the Ramjack thing. I, and I know maybe this is just football and sports in general, but how the 2017 draft class is, has like whimpered out for the saints over the last few years, bruh. Very disheartened. Just, just depressing, man. Bruh. Like, as great as that class was, it's as depressing as it is to just see it mm-hmm. just kind of crumble down. You know what I'm saying? Especially considering when we didn't get a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a championship. Like, that 2016-17 was a championship core. You know what I'm saying? Like, you built, like, when you, like, I was listening to the Move the Sticks podcast a couple of days ago, we have gone through teams and trying to find the building pieces Championship building pieces for each Ooh. team, and like the the names that they brought up was like still names twenty seventeen for Saints, like you know what I'm saying, like the few names that's left, you know, sad, bro, it's, it's sad, it's the, sad, bro, but the the, 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 the fr- they couldn't get one. Also, the fridge has not been replenished. That's the problem. That's the problem. And look, you're not gonna have a draft class like twenty seventeen. It's hard to do, but. But when you when you have a draft like twenty eighteen, <laughs> ooh, it's twenty nineteen, <laughs> twenty twenty, twenty twenty. It gets a little tough, brother. Uh, a little, a little is an understatement. I will say to to spread some good news, um, please. <laughs> oh, no, it's a break. There, are, I word it like this. There appears to be good traction in terms of the Saints and AK mm. with the with the contact with the sorry with the contract that's lingering. He left early, mandatory mini camp, what have you. So what I was what I was what I heard and was told this week is that there has been good traction made regarding that. Now I'm not I'm not here to say what that means in totality. I'm not here to say is it going to be done before training camp? Is it going to be done during training camp before the season? I don't know. All I was told and all I heard was good traction was made. Which speaking of this 2017 draft class, like can we like there's still bone there's still meat on the bone with AK. Can we like can we can, can we see it? Can we can we can we hear retire a saint? Can, can we have that as a fan base? Like let 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 him. Like if say he is cooked, say the three point nine yards or whatever he was averaging last year, say that's really him now, regardless of the old line. Like I said, but let him show that. Like, but at least like don't make that decision for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, right? 
Like let's let's play it out. Let's play it out and really give him an offensive line, give him an offensive scheme, give him you know offensive play coordinator, calling, coordinate all that, and see and see how it shakes out, man. Because come on, man, it's AK, bro. AK, AK, bro. Like, oh, anyhow, that's the good news. We're getting back to Ram check. Thoughts on, you know, we'll talk about it, I'm pretty sure, a year from now when the official announcement comes out regarding his retirement. But, like, mm-hmm. thoughts on – it just – it's funny how the Ram check pick shows how we and NFL teams honestly, like, don't know what the hell we're talking about in terms of draft prospects yeah. a lot of times. I just – I remember just being so annoyed on, on draft night. We drafted a, off at the tackle, blah, blah, blah. And then – was it Stish, Stish, no, it wasn't Stishkum. It was um, Shreve got hurt. He slides in and was literally the best right tackle in football for at least three, four seasons. Three-time All-Pro. Uh, First-team All-Pro once. Two-time, two, uh, second-team All-Pro. I don't think he ever had a Pro Bowl, which, you know, who cares? <laughs> but just, you know, it's, it's, you know, I mean, dude was just like, you didn't worry about it. Like, he mm-hmm. was right tackle. He wasn't getting beat often. Rarely got beat. Um, was mean in a run game. Like those first couple years, I say those first four years before his knee started catching up with him, he was you know arguably the best right tackle in football. Man, uh, just a just an excellent pick. You know, I remember, bro. We I wanted Reuben Foster. We almost Bad, had him. Bro. The whole Bad. It was the whole hang up the phone. I remember Saints Twitter was on fire. Like, we got a right tackle, bro. Like, we had just drafted uh, uh, Pete, like, two years before that. I was like, oh, man, come on, man. Right? Shit. That, 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 was, that was clutch. It was, clutch, it was, bro. Clutch move, man. Clutch move. Uh, Demon Time Slam said, we took those uh, Teron Armstead and Ram check years for granted. I don't Ooh. think we did. But well, I, will, I, I will say this. Even as great as we knew Drew Drew Brees was, and looking back on it, like we, even like the biggest Drew Brees fans, we still did not give him enough credit, bro. Because no, it is, bro. Sean Payton saying the same thing, right? Like, like, God damn, we had it good with you, boy. (laughs) Oh man, um. So that was that was the good news I wanted to share. And I, w- I do want to talk about this because it, it go it goes to what our topic was on the last podcast episode we did talk just talking about are the Saints a, la- a laughing stock? So I was able to to double source this. I did you know shout out to Dan Hansis wasn't able to triple source it, but I, I I do feel confident to talk about it with the double source. We've we've already lambasted the Saints enough regarding not having fans at training camp in Irvine. It's it, it sounds like the, like the Saints aren't providing anything from the actual the actual people who cover the team. The beat reporters, there's no there's no Wi-Fi. There's not a place for them to there's not a room for them to put out any article. A little tent. You gotta give them a little tent or something, man. A little, a little tent a, a, to go get at Walmart, you know? A long chance up. It is just, it is, it's so, it's become laughable of just the distinct difference of how the team is operated now. And to be honest, like that, like you are, they are showing how cheap they are. Like, I don't know what is happening in in the checkbooks. I don't know what, what Gail is, Gail Benson's pocketbook looking like. But that's a bad look. That is a terrible look where the people who cover the team won't have a place for them to write and do their job. Comfortably. <laughs> I, I don't get it. And we know we know like we know this side of other teams operated. You know what I'm saying? Like when the Rams had their thing out there at the same site, you know, they had, you know. Spots for their media, and free Wi-Fi, all that stuff. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if it's being cheap. I don't know if the pocket's tight. They just being frugal. 
You know, I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think the the. I don't think the person's running empty. I don't think it's that. I don't know, bro. Like it is very fascinating to me, especially when you put everything in totality. Like this off season, Jeff Duncan wrote an article last week talking about um, how the team will eventually have to be sold. Um, uh, as they, you know, they're kind of working on negotiations right now with the state of Louisiana. Um, and, but you know, with that next deal that happens with Louisiana, Gail, Gail is already 78, has no right. heirs. So that next deal is going to have to incorporate the transition of the sale of the team. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot of little just moving parts going on that have nothing to do with football, nothing. you know, but that are really important, like to the longevity of the saints, saints being in new Orleans, um, so I don't know. It's just a lot of things I'm just wondering about. Like, I just wish, you know, I wish I could lose somebody, you know, inside, like really on the inside, the, the, the Dennis Lucius and the, all them people. What's really going on? You know, cause something just feels weird. Something oh, weird, weird going on. Weird. And it ain't got nothing to do with football. It's like the no, business no. And stuff. Weird. Yeah. But speaking of football, your, your tweet earlier today about, Amara St. Brown just been shitting on the Saints. <laughs> I, had to, I had to mute that, bro. I had to mute that. <laughs> Repeatedly, bro. I had to mute that conversation, man, because he was getting hot, hot, hot up in there. <laughs> I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even see the conversation. I just, I just watched the video and. I... <laughs> and Equinemius can't say shit, bro. Like he just, he. <laughs> I'm going to rob you. Light this up, bro. Really. <laughs> Who, who's your head coach? Me too. Yeah, I don't know him. Who, who's your quarterback? <laughs> you, you know who our quarterback is. <laughs> ah. You see Star? You going to start for you? You sure? Sure you going to start? I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the jokes always fly. It would be such as a welcome surprise. And I, we'll see what happens. Anything could happen in a season. If they just came out and just like went on a like a little roll, bruh, just won three or four oh, games, it just That'd be nice. It would. <laughs> it would. And then I keep looking at that schedule and just see that that Dallas Philly nah. two. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, that's gonna be a, gonna be a tough task. Um, training camp is around the corner. I believe it starts on what the twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty fourth. Um, yeah, but the uh, rookies have reported. Though. Yeah, rookies reported. So some news to come out in terms of like injuries. Who's on pup? Um, I I have been hanging on by a, a thread today, so I maybe have not caught them all. But I did see uh, Chase Young, not surprising on pup. Uh, Juwan Johnson on pup. Um, Chris Olave had like like on the non football injury list because he had like a, a tight back, back, and I was like tight back. Man, Man out here trying to carry Derek Derek Carr for a whole season. What you think his back tight for, bro? <laughs> back tight. <laughs> I just uh, hate those reports, bro. Like even though they like, yes, yes, it just might not mean nothing in the long term. It's just like ah, I don't want. I that. feel, I feel like that's the old like that harkens back to like the days when information wasn't as readily available, and mm-hmm. it kind of has like a like a trauma response because if we was yeah. all like. Saints report or whatever, and you and you saw oh. it like that. That we was like, oh, well, like the, the world is ending. Oh no! Well, it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, uh, it's just funny. Oh. Any anything else? I, I know I know I missed some. I know I missed a couple others in terms of. Uh, Bub means he he didn't at first he couldn't pass his physical or whatever. I think he, he passed, passed it. The Okay. Don't know what's going on there. Like, was you eating poor boys, bro? Like, was you trying to New Orleans cuisine? Couldn't get that. Couldn't, couldn't run the gases. Couldn't run the gases or something. I don't know. I don't know. It was just, that was weird. I was like, okay. Uh, any updates on uh, Kool Aid McKinstry? Oh, that's a good question. I ain't seen nothing. I don't. Th- he's he's not on pup. I don't think. Yeah. So that, I mean, I, that would be yeah. no news. No news is good news. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's good to go, man. Uh, uh, Tano Passanio, I think he's also a pup. Oh, yep, yep. Um, so yeah, man, that's I mean, that was pretty much it. Towards the news today, is 
I guess no news is good news as far as like there aren't any other like bigger bigger name players that are you know right. on the NFI list or on a pup list or anything like that. So you know it's uh it's, it's going to be ready to go come training camp next week, man. Like hopefully we'll get some reports out of there because they <laughs> we gotta wait till wait till the media get to back to the hotel and shit. What we gonna? <laughs> Bro, we get grain, grainy video. Like, well, I think that's Spencer. Hasn't, <laughs> hasn't. What Dante? Who, who's who's on pup? Who first? No, he he can't be on first. He ain't he ain't on pup. Ain't no wait, he said first. No, he said who not? Who's who not? Uh, we have so. Oh wait, nah, Fosky. No, he's not on pup. Because if Fosky, <laughs> no, you got you got to clarify what you talking about Dante. Um, it's it's it's. Oh, he's he's asking who's not on pup. Okay, oh. I get it. Now. Like, who Thank not? you, Wayne. Who, who <laughs> we got so many <laughs> nicknames for players. Like I thought, who not was a, like a, a nickname that that I. <laughs> Swatsky name. Who not? Oops. <laughs> not on the football field. Uh. Uh, Deshaun, uh, Deshaun says not too confident about the D line going into training camp. They need to sign one or two more players. Listen, I, I like they are not signing any players. Bro. Like this, like they are relying on Chase Young neck healing, and they are going to try to do a combination of Cam Jordan, Chase Young, Isaiah Foskey, and Peyton Turner to rush the passer. Oh, and and, and Big Creep. That is their plan. And, and look, it's not the greatest plan on paper. But it might, here we go. it might be Uh-oh. okay. It Hashtag might be paper. okay, bro. Like, like if 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 Chase Young and a, a Underhill reported earlier that you know no worries so far. It looks like he's on track to you know be ready to go for training camp. He'll come off pup soon. Uh, man, if he give if Chase Young gives up something, bro, like that's oh, gonna yeah. be huge. Bro. It's like huge, so cool. huge. So cool. And I'm not even saying have like a. You know, fifteen sack season, nothing like that. But just a good, solid ten, nine, ten sack season. You know, maybe a you know a clowny like season. You know what I'm saying? Nine, ten for for Chase Young. Yeah. I I will say this, and this is a point that I was talking about before he signed. After he signed, if he's healthy and the neck is okay, this is the best secondary he's played with, and yeah. Opposing quarterbacks having to hold on to the ball an extra tick of a second, one to, uh, one second, one and one, you know, one point five ticks of a second, that can help a player like Chase Young get there. Like he is absolutely by far the most explosive defensive lineman, edge rusher the Saints have had in a I can't even remember. I like in terms of just as an athlete, right? Yeah. Um, he has the pedig- he pedigree drafted number two overall. I just show us something. Show us something. Like, because at this point, bro, anything we get from Isaiah Foskey and Peyton Turner is just is just extra. I am not counting on them to contribute at all, at all. Uh, someone, someone in the chat asked, uh, do, 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 do. what? It, it was a good question. It was like, I think it was over under uh twenty, yeah, over under twenty five sacks for the season. For the team, yeah. Or for the D line, no. Oh. Uh, pro- probably, I think just for the D line because you add in like other than for sure, like, just and all that. Yeah, yeah, just D line. Mm, Twenty five. Let's say, let's say Cam get five. Okay. Uh, let's say Chase get ten, fifteen. Uh, let's say Brazil get seven. So now we at what twenty two. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think I, I would say over twenty five. They get over twenty five just with the D line, you know, <laughs> throwing some throwing some big creep in there and stuff like that. You get over twenty five. Wayne said hard under. Um, Dante said if big creep was eating opposite Cam, I think I think Chase can do something. I think so too. It's all it's all going to depend on him and his Help. health and his. In his conditioning and his stamina. Like that's yeah. that's what it really boils down to. Yeah. 
Let's but see. He, he's a pedigree player, bro. Like talk about is, dude, uh, number two overall, had all the athletic traits. Like you know, it's a pass rushers. They they bloom late all the time, man. I see it all the time. Uh, so it, it's gonna be fascinating. And look, it's on him, bro. Like it, this is his career on the line. So it really is. It it really is. Uh, we streaming there? Yeah. Okay, streaming there. Uh, let's see. Any more questions from the chat? Uh, Mark said Chase Young gets the bag if he gets 10 sacks. I mean, he's a pass rusher in the NFL and has pedigree. Yes. I mean, depending bro. on what you depend on what the bag is, but. Bro, like, Marcus Davenport still getting paid, bro. Like, yeah. Like, come on now. The, the Lions <laughs> just, the Lions just paid him. Was it, was it 10 mil? For, like, they, 10 saw, mil. they saw him, like, literally not play for the Vikings last year. <laughs> <laughs> let's pay. And said, Let, let's get some of that. It's all, bro, oh, if that. you, it's just like a quarterback, bro. If you. You got an arm. Yeah. You'll, you'll always have a spot in the league. And if you're a, a freaky athletic defensive end, does not matter matter what you have put on film. There is a defensive coordinator out there saying, "I can fix this." I, I, I can fix I, that. I, it, it's like it's like humans do it with with partners. Sometimes, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, 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 I, I can fix him. I can fix her. Oh, oh, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> <laughs> they you cannot. Um, all the time. All the time. Any uh yeah, Wayne said, man, Minshew got twenty five mil as a backup. And he might be he might start I mean he it's like he's a backup but he might start like who knows. But yeah, it's I'm sure, insane. I'm sure he'll get playing time, you yeah. know. Oh, absolutely. Um anything else? This was just kind of a... I would I would like nah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold on to this one because I don't know if I can talk about it out loud yet. Uh like like we said, this is going to be a short one, um, because the the full machine of football hasn't started yet, but it is right around the corner. I, I don't know, man. I don't know if you heard Patrick Mahomes. Have not, but he talked he talked about how how they didn't have fun last year. Like basically, like look, like they know the defense pretty much carried them, you know what I'm saying, through most of the last right. season, even in the Super Bowl too. Yeah. Um and they struggled to score points and stuff like that. He talked about how like it was just it was a struggle on offense. You know what I'm saying? And they like he he wanted Xavier Worthy to show up ready to go. Like they want to cook. Like just to have that mindset coming off back to back Super Bowls. It said, and you like it said that wasn't that wasn't good enough. Wasn't good enough. I'm just like, man, what damn <laughs> We, 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 it's always that sliding doors, bro. Talking about that 2007. Oh. We were just talking about 2017. Just talking about oh. it, bro. <laughs> bro. Greatest draft ever. We could have had it even better. Like it could have been much better. It's yeah, one of man. the greatest draft, great, greatest drafts of all time, and we could have had the best draft of all time. Like the no, best. like no, no. Com- I'm a, listen. I'm I'm in college football 25. I'm trying to build Texas Tech into a powerhouse. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> Go <laughs> Patreon, join that dynasty league. Please. We 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 gonna get it going in about two <laughs> two to three weeks. The game officially came out kind of yesterday. Well, for a lot of people it came out for us on Tuesday on t- Monday, and then other people are getting it today, and then officially anyone can get it tomorrow. So we're gonna get about two to three weeks, let it simmer, get used to it. Um, and then it's gonna be full. I think right now we have at least 14, 15 team, 14 teams. Ooh. So yeah. Yeah. So it's our, like, bro, like it's, it's, it's fun. Like you got to, the, 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 the game aside, like playing the game against other people in the community. The fun part is like the recruiting. Like if that's, mm-hmm. if there's that four or five star recruit, bro. And you like, I'm trying to recruit and I'm trying to get him to come to Texas tech and G trying to get him to come to, to Utah. And just, that's the fun part. Cause that's where like the real heartbreak come, bro. Cause that's mm-hmm. like, Oh, not the five star quarterback recruit that could have like changed my whole yeah. team. That's where the that's where the fun comes in. Um, oh yeah. They, someone there so people in the chat are still talking about my homes. I, I I said it in watching receiver, bro. Like all like the trials and tribulations of the those the, the Niners was going through and all that. All I had in the back of my head is like, man, like everyone just trying to get over the hump of fifteen. In the, in the league, bro. Like, that's that's what everyone's trying to do. And yeah. 
It's crazy. Uh, it is. It is. Like it's You think they you think they repeat this year? Well, three peat, which has never happened. I've never happened. I I have learned I, I don't bet against fifteen, bro. <laughs> like, I don't do it. Like it's 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 gonna be hard as hell. Like it that mm-hmm. will be hard, but and I hate this about the Chiefs. It, well, I hate it because the enabling of what they do as a team and Andy Reid. But one thing that they do is whatever has plagued their team the year before, they kind of go the extreme opposite end of the spectrum to overcorrect it. They did it when they lost the Super Bowl to Tampa Bay and the offensive line was like dog shit. And they put so many resources to to improve it. Um so just like this, we knew like the receivers weren't the receivers were an issue, and you know Rashi. I don't even, I don't even know what Rashi Rice doing, bro. Like he, Rashi Rice, Jordan Addison. Like what is what 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 is going on? <laughs> like, Shit, real. Uh, Jay Sean said I got the Ravens coming out of the AFC. I got, I I know Patrick I would hate it. I know Patrick Claybon. I do would hate this. Can I, I gotta see Lamar, I gotta see Lamar do it, bro. I gotta see him do I it, bro. See it, bro. I got to see it, man. He he hurt he hurt me last year, bro. To it, it, comments it was on the, the blitz, I was like, man, what? Was <laughs> <laughs> he hot, bro? Like, did he not watch the game? Like the the game before against? Did he not watch the the film? <laughs> Trying to change narratives out here, bro. Like, oh, man. what you doing? No clue, bro. I, I no no clue. So, listen, the, and as as time has gone on, I have I have forgotten. Like, it's like, oh yeah, the Ravens added Derrick Henry. <laughs> like, ho hum. Yeah. The 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 season's gonna be exciting. It's right oh, around yeah. the corner. Um. So if you're watching, Caleb this Williams. Season, <laughs> I just you can't wait it? to see what he is. You know. Found it very interesting that he was pushing hard in his uh, rookie contract to have a no trade clause in it. Wow, that's what it was. That was the hold up. Mm-hmm. Interesting. He he he, he a different cap, bro. Like, and different, I know people bro. say that about him, like in a negative way. I see it as a positive yeah. way. It's like, oh, like yeah. <laughs> I know he who knows. I am. He knows I know who he is. Him, Marvin Harrison Jr. Jim J. Jim Z built different, man. <laughs> <laughs> they say go look at the film, bro. Go look at the film. Um, have you been watching uh Hard Knocks with the Giants? Uh I watched the first two episodes. I gotta okay. catch up on the uh on So the you're rest. so you're you're behind on the lot on the on the one that they just aired on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right up our alley, man. Right at oh, just man. oh it's, it's so it good, is bro. Oh so my good. God. I I'm, I'm almost pissed because they get so much criticism. I'm like, oh man, nobody ever doing this again. Like, because the Giants, just, they, you know, they hear the news every day after every episode, right? And so I'm just like, man, nobody else gonna do it. Like, nobody's gonna. Or, or if a team, it, it, it has to be a team that's like very successful. Like, I feel like that they, yeah, because then the criticism isn't as bad. But man, exactly. so, like some of the things just watching, like, like watching those scenes, it's like kind of like this group sheep think just like everyone then there's some different opinion different mm-hmm. excuse me differing opinions here and there but a lot of it was just i don't know man like i i, I it just look exactly how i feel like a, the saints front office meeting would go exactly exactly just a lot of like nobody's really Everybody, everybody just kind of protecting their job, like you know what I'm saying. Like nobody really wants to say what they really need to say. You know what I'm saying? Right. I get shocked by some of the things they say is because it's like it's not really like I don't really hear. Sometimes I hear some high level stuff, but sometimes it's just like man, that's the same stuff we hear, you know, on Twitter or wherever. You know what I'm saying? Like something <laughs> that. So this is really. So I have I'll add something to this because I. Thought this was interesting during the first episode. Uh, Eric Martinez says, "What are what are you guys expecting from the Bears this season?" I think they finished second in the NFC North. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that. I I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. But I, I I just I can't wait to see. I like the I like how they built around him. 
Yeah, man. You know, got him. Learn, I learn, mean, I, learn lessons from Justin Fields for sure. Yeah, like for sure. Like I like how they built around him. So at least offensively, they should be at least fun to watch. Right. Um, but getting back to Hard Knocks, during the first episode, they were kind of breaking down. I forgot who. I forgot what it was, but somehow the Eagles came into play. Oh, that, that's what it was. They were talking about Saquon in the mm. market. Yeah. And kind of talking about like how he fits their team and like the, they're kind of breaking down the division, right? That's what it was. They're breaking down the NFC East. And something that was so like they were very keen in self scouting their own team, but something that they, they like Joe, like the front office didn't do is they didn't try to put themselves in the minds of Howie Roseman, right? Mm-hmm. And I think when you were a, at that level, you can't just look at it from your perspective because I was watching it and I was like, if if you paid attention to the Eagles last season, you would have known that the verdict was Justin or sorry, Jalen Hurts can't lead a team. Like like right. there we were that he he can lead a team, but he needs a lot of help and support around him. He's not the type right. of quarterback that like elevates talent, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Right. And, one of the big reasons why they got to the Super Bowl was because of the run game. And that kind of evaporated last season. And so it wasn't like that next level thinking of, well, if this is what they did this past season, then what could they potentially do in in the off season to right. remedy that? Like it was exactly. very, it was very singular in terms of just yeah. them. They weren't putting them, they weren't thinking about how an other team might think, which it's interesting to me. Cause like, maybe because we're fans, quote-unquote, it's a lot easier for us to kind of think about that second part of that. Right, things. right, right. Yeah, the second order of thinking. And the uh, one thing that stood out to me was just how they used the running back market from the previous offseason mm-hmm. to dictate this coming when it's a new market. Every yes, Yesterday's every prices is, is not <laughs> today's prices, as Fat Joe so would say. No. Like yeah, yeah. The secretary got two million the year before, but now you're paying him nine million this year. You know what I'm saying? When you know two also, three million had, more, you could have had Saquon. You know what I'm saying? Like also, Devin Singletary had like a much better season last off. Right. Like just dummies, bro. Like <laughs> uh, yes, Eric behind behind Green Bay. One thing I. I'm also interested to see this season, and I think I know the answer to it. And I know people are still asking, like, is Jordan Love for real? Like, is, like, he the real deal? That stretch he went on from, like, the middle of the season to the – from the – he – bruh. I think I saw enough. Now, he, he got re- to replicate it, he right? got to replicate it. Yeah. Because you don't want to get – like, I don't think the Eagles regret the extension with Jalen Hurts after everything he did. But that 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 – Season uh, with, the, with with a small sample size. Just the 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 Eagles story from last year. I just need to see what's going on because the way they collapsed Ooh. last year was like I, Epic, I, just, I still don't know what ha- like what happened. I don't, I want to know like what happened because it how was a collapse. Do, how do you go from having a coach that was a couple of minutes away from winning the Super Bowl to they potentially would think about firing him the the next season, Ryan? For real, that's wild. And wow. Kellen Moore, like I, I don't know about the Kellen Moore thing. I've always been the thought he was overrated. I don't know. I don't. Know. They brought they brought in uh uh what's my dude name at DC um long time defense coordinator Vic Fangio. Wait, they brought in Vic you. Fangio. Like he's a personality. I don't know. I, I don't know, bro. Like I don't know. It's just the Eagles thing is weird to me. Like just how they the whole thing just collapsed like that. It was it was very 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 weird. Oh man, I, I actually had a football question I've been meaning to bring up on this podcast and gone, just gone. Gone. Bro. Maybe, maybe it'll come back. Maybe it won't. I'll I'll talk about my, this. My memory almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Say no more. Anyway, uh, the Colts off our head coach <laughs> must have really been the offensive mi- uh, mastermind. Uh, mm. Saint Shane Steichen. Uh, Steichen, yeah. He might have been. I know. I know that uh, people were saying that for for Frank Wright for the longest time after he left Philly, and like I, I never really like. I think people undersold no. Doug Peterson. So anyway, I don't know. 
anyhow, oh. thank y'all for joining. Short notice. Uh, it's going to be a very, very fun NFL season. Um, if you have not, if you are not a Patreon yet, please, uh, with football right around the corner, all the things we do as a community, uh, sign up, become a Patreon. All the meetups, uh, the game day Zooms are almost back. It's going to be a great time. Uh, I don't even know what's, what's coming up. I don't even know. I've been, I'm just a one hour of sleep. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. If you made it this far, please hit like and subscribe on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all of them. We'll be back next week. Training camp, training camp starts next week. We'll probably get some reports from training camp beginning of August because the Saints are poor and, and can't. Anyway, we'll, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. With that, we're out. Peace.